Hello everyone out there. Night guy here. And uh, what do we have here? A priority box, priority mail. Always nice to feel like a priority, right? <laughs> Just kidding. Um, what I have in here are two new swords. Um, no, they're nothing too, too special. So I'm gonna do two and one on uh, the review and unboxing uh, for, for these two. Um, Anyhow, I'm um, just going to get right in. These are your typical, uh, what I would call, black box, brown box, white box specials. Or they, they should be. They should be. I may be wrong on that. Um, they were hard to even really classify and label uh, as far as category is concerned for swords. Um, I try to keep uh, the swords that I get to use and review on the channel primarily historic primarily historically inspired oh yeah definitely brown box specials you can see there see that uh straight up uh, flea market fodder there um but every now and then i come across a few of these that i like i by no means consider um anything that i get really to be junk uh, at least not when i get it uh that's what the testing is for but uh these two uh, if any, if, if at the very least they look very cool, so that, you know, was inspiration enough, and um, they're not expensive, um, let's go with the first one, um, I had, uh, two coming in, they both were labeled as, a uh, scimitar, or scimitar-like, uh, swords, let's open that up, this box is, uh, definitely roughed up already, not a big fan of that, but I know these, these are the, uh, type of swords that just come off of a press. This here is the Bat Sword Scimitar. Uh, I really can't call these even swords. I would call them uh, sword machetes, if anything. Not really a machete. Not really a sword. But uh, just look at that. This thing looks cool already. Uh, the Bat, bat Scimitar Sword. Uh, kind of... I don't like it. It feels pretty solid, honestly, for a, a cheap old stainless steel. You know, um, you know, I have no delusions with these things. Uh, this thing's got a decent purchase on it. They definitely went a little more in depth in the handle. I mentioned that in one of my other videos. Normally, these things are really cheap on the handles, and they hurt the hand. That's normally the deciding factor that I get rid of it. Um, but look at that. Let me get the light on. It's a little overcast outside, so it's kind of hard to see. But um, look at that. I was trying to do the video a little bit dimmer, but uh, I want to give you guys the details of this piece. By no means is it a you know top of the line expensive sword, but for the money, this thing should be some fun. I really like the curve on that blade. Um, like I said, I like the purchase. The handle's nice. You can kind of get almost two hands on there. Uh, this looks, I believe it's about over 20 inches, if not right at. Um, even has a nice little, uh, you know, guard there. You know, cross guard kind of section there. Um, that might bite into your hand a little bit if you go real crazy with it. But that's not too bad. Just for some cuts, you know, I feel like I could, you know, maneuver that, you know, uh, in a manner like I would use a sword. Not hurt myself too bad. Um, let's set that down. And then we have, you know, standard. Uh, we've seen these probably a bunch of times before. If you ever had any any one of these that you got from a flea market, or so, something like that, or online. Um, this one's a little bit better than most of the cheap, cheap uh, nylon ones that they make. Don't have too much confidence in, in this cheap style, uh, you know, shoulder strap. But anyhow, it's... You know, it's cool looking. Uh, tactical is definitely, uh, you know, a big, big uh, pop, pop uh, culture uh, category, I guess you could say, for weaponry. Uh, anyhow, um, let's move along into the next one. It's another scimitar-based weapon. Um, I think this one, you know, kind of looks similar to some, some scimitars. Scimitars normally, I feel, would have a more, you know... Uh, uh, more of an arc, you know, in the blade, typically, but that's pretty cool, and I think that'll give me some good cuts, definitely some good thrusts. Um, the next one is also supposed to be a scimitar-like uh, sword, if you could call this a sword. Um, they're kind of small, so 
I mean, these are just machete swords. But this one is supposed to be designed after a uh, Chinese, or designed from a Chinese influence. Um, I guess you would kind of call it a Dao. Let's get that out. Same sort of standard uh, over-the-shoulder sheath. Look at this thing. Oh, yeah, this is definitely, definitely a machete. Uh, you could just feel that's a giant sheet of stainless steel carved out. Now, this thing looks really cool. Look at the handle. I love the ring. Uh, this thing definitely reminds me of my uh, war sword, my Chinese war sword. The cold steel Chinese uh, war, war sword machete. Definitely very similar. The handle on the cold steel one is, is way longer, which is awesome. But this doesn't feel too bad. I think this is going to give some really nice cuts. What do you think? Well, that's the two of them. Uh, standard, you know, mall ninja, flea market fodder. Uh, let me know what you think of these pieces. Let me know if you want to see any more cuts or thrust on them, you know. Um, like I said, I'm not telling anyone to rush out. You have to get this. These are the end all of blades. But um, they're, they're relatively inexpensive. I, I spent maybe $20 a piece on each of these, especially if you get them in bulk. Um, and, uh, you know, uh, for, for the channel right now, I'm just kind of reviewing, you know, just different designs to see what they feel like. Um, I will say one thing about both of these, even for being cheapos, uh, the handles, they actually at least give you a little more of an elaborate handle than what you'd normally get, which sometimes is just, uh, let me pull one off to show you, you know, they can get really cheap. Um, this is the cheaper one I have. You see the handle on that. Um, you know, that's, this, this is like plastic. I mean, I'm not saying these are, you know, going to be, ooh, almost uh, put a hole there, going to be extremely durable. Uh, you know, it seems like a cheap leather wrap, but it's at least comfortable. This thing feels like it's going to break immediately. Uh, some are even worse that just come, you know, where it's a flat piece of steel and they just wrapped it. You see this thing? A little flat piece of steel just wrapped with, you know, almost like shoelace. That That's rough on the hands. So at least, you know, they went in a little bit more in depth there to uh, give you a more comfortable handle. Um, I always prefer when I could get a good purchase on a, on a weapon or a tool, you know. So I think these will, you know, do very well for some fun. Let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching.